Okay, so uh, let's open the Cover Creator Designer by clicking this button. I'm going to discard changes just so that it opens immediately for me. Okay, now just as an overview, you're going to have three choices. You're going to be choosing your design, you're going to be um, changing your styling and editing, and the third choice is going to be previewing it. So let's start. The first uh, level here, the design, you can either choose one of these image-based designs or you can choose a non-image design which has either a solid color or it has some sort of texture or design. So let's choose this one here. Let's choose this design and this is going to be the one we'll work on now. So now we're in the style and edit section. So there's three choices here. You can choose the colors. Let's move this here a little bit. You can choose the colors and choose the layout and um, choose the fonts. So you can also here, up here, you can choose a new cover image. So let's choose that. And there's three choices here. You can either choose from there extensive image gallery that's built into this um, software or you can choose a picture that you have um, chosen and paid for maybe a royalty free picture maybe one you, t you took yourself that's on your computer this will bring up a browse button and you can go and choose that image and if for some reason you don't know what picture you want to um, to use you can certainly choose a placeholder image so let's open the image gallery and let's change our picture here let's go to um, let's go to backgrounds here and we'll do patterns and textures all right let's just choose one that's uh, not too fancy or whatever yeah, this one looks good all right we'll, we'll use this image here Okay, so now we have um, now we have this uh, image here. Okay, so the coloring is pretty horrible. So let's choose the colors here. So now that we have sort of a purplish gray picture down here, let's see which colors would look best with this. Uh, let's see this orange here. Okay, or maybe uh, this green one here. Or this one here well in any event you'll just choose one that you want to use now if you want to change the background color only let's go and choose a blue and see how that looks maybe that looks a little bit better so we'll use the um, and then maybe we want a different accent color let's change this to say a burgundy Okay, and then also we're going to change the text color. Let's change the text color to black and see what happens. It kind of disappears, so let's go back to, say, a little bit off-white there, a little yellow in it. All right, that's good. Okay, and then here we can choose the layout. So as you're designing, if you decide that, well, I'm not that happy about the layout, you can, ch you can choose the different layouts to see how this this picture and this color scheme is going to look and then also you can choose a font group and you can the same thing just click through these different choices here's the arrow that will open a little bit more up and you can see which one uh, that you like now if you've gotten to the point where the book is like completely hideous like the one I have here and you want to start over you click over here and you can go right back to the beginning and start with a new design and start again. Now if you reach a point where you want to save the book cover, you can click on um, preview to see it slightly bigger, how it will look on an actual Kindle or e-reader, or you can save it. Once you click save, then you're telling Amazon, this is my book cover, this is the one that I want. Okay, so I'm just going to start over because this is even more hideous than the one I started with. Um, so uh, that's pretty much how you will use the uh, book cover creator.